A busy day in sports. And for the first time this season, the Thunder beat a team not named the Lakers. Big win for the Oklahoma City Thunder, and you saw it exclusively live right here on NBA TV. What a comeback. How, how about Mike this? Muscala. Mike Might be Muscala. better for them to play from behind. Okay, see? Well, 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 think about it as we welcome you into studio here. This is Game Time presented by Kia. We've got a pair of champions and gold medalists with us. Candace Parker, Steve Smith, I'm Jared Greenberg. Uh, we're going to bounce around, get you up to date on, on what happened to the champs in the NBA tonight. Uh, what happened to the Knicks at home. And you're going to want to see what's going on right now with the Golden State Warriors. We'll get to all that in a moment. But the Oklahoma City Thunder have three wins. Two of them against the Lakers. But all three of them. They've come back from 26 down, 19 down, and tonight they come from 16 down. Yeah, it's something about um, coming back. Obviously, they really did a good job um, in the second half of getting stops, but I knew they were in a good position when Shea Gilgis Alexander was one for five in the first half, and they were within striking distance. San Antonio um, didn't do a very good job today of closing out quarters. Closing out the half, it was like they were right on the brink of blowing them out in the first half, and they just kept giving them a door to, to come back into. You said it, OKC, um, they've lost a lot of games. Yep. But they're never really out of it. I mean, I love that they have a, several playmakers. They have some size. And Shea Gilders Alexander just won't let them lose games. I love how he keeps attacking. They defend, but more importantly, they, they share the basketball to be a young team. There's not a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. They do a lot of cutting. I haven't seen a lot of young teams move without the basketball the way they do. I, I like the way they play, and they, they have some guys that just have pride in playing a game of basketball. And can we just commend Dort on his yep. shot? Because there's not many people that have gone through this transformation, and his shot visibly looks different, mm -hmm. and the results are he's knocking it down. Like, he's not a player that you can just leave by himself. He's proven that, and you can just see in his technique – from the free throw line that yep. he has really spent a lot of time on improving his outside jump shot. Uh, it's interesting. You shoot 37% from the field and 28% from three and you win a game. What's Greg Popovich saying in the locker room? Yeah, I mean, I think it's to what Candace said. They, they couldn't close quarters and when they had a lead, they couldn't extend it. I think for them, they had turnovers. They had empty plays. They had empty possessions where they couldn't get a good shot. And then the Spurs couldn't get stops when they wanted to. That's usually with Greg Popovich's team. If they don't shoot the ball well, they usually can get multiple stops. He's talked about back-to-back -back stops, preaches it in um, huddles. They couldn't get those stops tonight. 